Welcome back guys to the channel. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. As you have noticed by now, I didn't really film a an intro to this video. That's okay. Uh, I'm just going to continue on working on the engine in this episode. I uh, will be removing the camshafts, uh, checking all the fire valve lifters, and taking the front plates off. So this is going to be fun. Well, hopefully. Stay tuned. If you don't want to spend a lot of time checking what the ball size that thing actually is, like I did, uh, so so that you know it's 11 millimeters. I know it's weird. Usually it's either 10 or something else. Never heard of 11. I didn't even see a lot of 11 millimeters sockets, but this is one of them. And now for the hex uh, bolts, those are 5. I'm not sure if they are 5 millimeters, whatever the size is, it's marked 5. So before we're going to remove the gear out of the camshaft, first try to remove the diamond tensioner. Uh, you can do it with 19 millimeters or the 21, I don't remember. But this will release the tension of the diamond chain and make it easier. Because as you see, I've been struggling for that a little bit until I realized that. Here I'm going to show you the uh, the spring tensioner on the on this chain. It's supposed to be really really hard to compress them. Then you know that it's a good one. And in this case, case I can do it in one hand, like this is a bad compressor, so like the bad, bad tensioner, so it has to go. Luckily I haven't already ordered a new, a new one and it's just waiting to be installed after I'm done with the rest of the engine. Because I need to check all the uh, valve lifters which are also uh, supposed to work the same way as this. And I need to check all of them because they could be bad as well. And that's what could have caused the uh, engine knocking. So, uh, hopefully we'll take this one. And I will do uh, one at a time. I will try to do the intake first and then I will do the exhaust and uh, I will put them back before I do the other one. So the alignment of that will not be broken, hopefully. Wish me luck. You may not have this problem, but because my engine wasn't maintained well, as you can see from all the old oil baked on it, uh, I do have to use a mallet to remove it. but. Usually wrecking back and forth will be enough. Okay, now we're getting to removing the camshaft. Those bolts are th also 11 millimeters, and uh, the manual that I have shows that there is a specific tool that will help you release uh, the camshaft slowly so that all of the things will not fly into your face. But I couldn't find the tool, and it's probably hella expensive, so all I'm doing is just slowly uh, loosening the bolts on nuts in this case on each uh, of those pieces I'm not even sure what they called and uh, that's how it releases the tension from the springs below them and that worked well for me it didn't hit me in the face so that's a plus
so I have removed the cam shaft on the intake and uh, it looks messy as always on this side well the exhaust is not better and uh, I have all placed it like that so I will know exactly where it goes where it came from so I will put it back in the same order uh, now the part goes here into those small pointy things this ones now those are the uh, valve lifters and I'm not sure if they are good or bad uh, they might be good I have no idea but I need to remove them so in order to remove them I made like they I don't have any special tools and uh, I just took pliers and I put uh, rubber sides on the back of them so I can uh, pry them with that and not scratch anything hopefully that will work and again if your engine has been maintained well with good oil you shouldn't be having those issues that I have it should easily come out with one hand no need for special tools but you know I have to struggle because that's my life Okay, so here I came in the next day and after cleaning all of those things I didn't find anything that's wrong with them so they are going back and together with this little guy I have to push it in somehow, I'm not even sure how but it has to go inside and uh, and my luck has it then I, the battery died on this light so I have a limited amount of light over here. I tried to clean this up a little bit. And there was some luck with that. Now I need to put some lubrication on those grooves and uh, on this camshaft using this assembly loop. I watched it from Humble Mechanic. He said this is a good thing to have, so I got it. Now I need to assemble those things back and uh, I'm still waiting for some of the tools to arrive so this is going to be just some parts of the engine assembling at least I know that that's not the issue and probably all the knocking came from the, the uh, chain so I have all new parts and over here I even got myself a new toolbox it just arrived today here Besides my t-shirt, uh, there is a bunch of parts that I have to use on this car. There are just a lot of them. Wish me luck. It's gonna be fun. So now, putting the camshaft back in place, uh, try to uh, tighten the nuts from the outside in. Uh, that usually helps. Little by little, it will compress the springs and be just fine without any special tools uh, yeah and don't forget to use the assembly loop because there will be as there is no lubrication after I cleaned it so I had to have something on it and the funny thing is that the torque uh, spec on this is 11 foot pound which is exactly the size of the socket 11 millimeters and 11 foot pound kind of fascinating for me uh, so yeah let's do this job Finally, I got the tools, and uh, this is the tool that you would need to lock the engine in the top dead center. I previously bought a pin from FCP Euro that I showed you how to stick uh, into the hole in the flywheel to lock the, the engine, the uh, cylinders. And because I'm taking the uh, camshaft, camshafts anyway, uh, I didn't really need to have it. But uh, th this is the point that I actually need. In this tool and now I need to uh, align the camshafts uh, and uh, lock them in place then I can remove the exhaust one check all the valve lifters and if they're okay I can move on to changing the chain which is gonna be fun 
<sighs> because this, that requires more tools. And I just recently got this piece. So you need these two things. This thing I found on eBay for 80 bucks. And I need it because my pulley on the crankshaft is very deep. I need this. And now this tool to hold the pulley to be able to undo the bolts and take those things out. This is 150. People are getting crazy. Like really 150 for this? I'm really frustrated with the prices for tools because they're any place to go and then you need a special tool and then the tool is expensive. But otherwise it's not really hard to work on this engine. Now it's time to lock the engine and uh, to do so I'm going to use this, to this tool. Uh, I bought it from Amazon and you can I'll list the links in the description. After I'm done with the engine I probably list those tools on eBay as well. And I, if I'll be uh, at the end of this video, I'll be done with this, then I'll uh, include links uh, to those items on eBay so you can get them cheaper than the 150 because what the hell. Uh, yeah, so now I need to set this up. I use a wrench over here to torque, uh, turn the camshaft in order to align it with this piece and it will align with the other uh, camshaft. Then it, the engine is in the top dead center. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, as you can see the camshafts are not aligned and to align them there is a special spot that you can use a tool to adjust it and that tool is a 27 millimeter. Maybe it will be 26 but they had 27 and that what worked for me I didn't have a 26 to even test, but 25 was too small. Before you continue any further, don't forget to drain your oil. Because if you're going to remove the front plate, it's going to leak out in front. You don't want it. It's going to make a mess. So yeah, drain the oil. So now, before I remove any of those bolts, I need to put the uh, piece of uh, paper where I can going to stick each bolt in this exact order where I, how I took it out. So here it is, my work of art. I have cut some small holes, so when I'm going to remove the bolt, I'm going to place it in the exact location where I removed it from. So if you can see there is different sizes of bolts so that's why it's good to know where you took the bolt from and place it back in the same order, in the same place. Now I need to carefully take this thing out but it's usually really stuck there. So here it is, the whole engine is open for you to see, well just the chain component but still.
So from this point I'm going to be spending a lot of time cleaning the gaskets of the uh, the edge so I can apply the new gasket later and uh, it will stick and there will be no leaks after I'm done. But for now I just have to deal with this thing. And it's not really fun stuff to do so I am going to end this video on this happy note. Uh, any stuff that I used I will include in the description below and uh, give me a follow and put a like if you enjoyed the video uh, I am new if you didn't notice yet and I'm still trying to improve myself so put me in the comments below tell me what I should do better uh, where should I focus so yeah thank you for watching I uh, hope you have a fantastic day I'll see you next time goodbye